Welcome to the Orange Army. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Read on the Fly, where we're doing everything outdoors. It is the opening weekend for Element Shotgun Season for Whitetails. Uh, I opened yesterday by at work, so I'm getting out this morning. There's going to be four guys in our group today. Uh, three of them were out yesterday. None of them pulled a trigger, but it was also kind of unseasonably warm, but a lot cooler today. We had a big cold front roll in kind of late last night. Um, cloud cover, I think it's like 42, 43 degrees this morning. A couple ideas on where I want to hunt this morning. I'm going to kind of brew on it on the drive out while I'm sipping on some coffee and listening to some podcasts. So I always look forward to gun season because my brother, my dad, and two good buddies uh, hunt with us. And it's kind of like a deer camp. But with the whole coronavirus situation, I'm not going to be staying the night. Um, this is going to be an all-day hunt, come back home tonight, and then go out tomorrow morning and hunt all day. So, it is what it is. Got to stay safe. So, I'm going to hit the road and uh, stay tuned, y'all. trails and it's kind of a pitch point uh, it's a double wide ladder stand I'll check the straps because I have not hunted it yet this season but fresh straps were put on it uh, this summer but it's a good spot I actually missed a buck with my bow out of that stand uh, last October so hopefully get some redemption time this weekend and get some blood It is 8 a.m. Wind is picking up a little bit out of the southwest, so it is in my face, which is good because I'm basically hunting this scrape line. There's about two or three scrapes kind of right behind me, right in a row, and heavy trails all over. Right at first light, I had a buck kind of thrashing around in the timber right over here making some noise and then about five minutes after that I had a small doe to my south kind of just cruising around in the CRP was in any hurt was not in any hurry there's no buck behind her had her broad had her about broadside maybe 60 yards but didn't take a shot Just missed a buck. Uh, didn't turn on the cameras because it happened so quick. He came in like 50 yards. Had him stopped, broadside. <sighs> it just stings and hurts. It sucks, but that's the name of the game. Just went down and looked for blood and. There's more deer, there's plenty of time left. Guess we'll see what happens. So I'm down from the stand, um, kind of around the same area where I shot that buck. So I'm right here and the stand is like right there. Probably like a 45, 50 yard shot broadside. Everything went freaking perfect, except for the shot. And there's no one to blame. I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm not going to blame the angle or branches or the slug I was using. That was 110% my fault, my error. Uh, but I'm staying positive about it. Positive mental attitude is what it's all about. Shout out to Lance Knight. Learned that from you, buddy. I really need to invest in a legit slug gun. I'm shooting my uh, field barrel with rifled slugs. I've used this method since I've been shotgun hunting and I've had real good luck. 
but I've also had my misses, but I think it's time to really get a good slug gun and sight in the gun prior to shotgun season and get everything dialed in because that should have been a dead deer if I would have done everything the right way. But right now I'm gonna kinda just regroup, go back up to the car, cook up some lunch, have a couple and uh, kinda settle in for the evening. I'm Nothing beats a tailgate beer. Settled into the blind. Overlooking this clover. It's looking pretty good, nice and green. Feeling much better about this spot. There are two trail cameras kind of in this area and it is usually loaded with deer. Either first light or last light. And they also use this kind of as a travel corridor. Last hour of shooting time. Time for the power hour. But it's been a slow three hours. Almost dozed off a couple times. Left. Looking like it's not gonna happen. <sighs> Man, what a day. I don't know, today just kinda had a weird vibe, a weird there's something weird and something off was going on today. Um, it did kind of started with the drive out. I just had a weird feeling about today and then missing that buck. And it just did not feel like the usual deer camp. Just because, for one, I'm not staying there. And with COVID and one of the guys is not there this year. And I don't know. It was just strange, weird. But uh, I'm home. Man. This is such a strange weekend, man. It's weird. I'm home, I gotta get these clothes, take a shower, and uh, just kinda melt into the recliner and kinda put today behind me um, and go back at it tomorrow with a new mindset and just staying, uh, staying optimistic, staying focused, camera-wise and mentally. A couple years ago, man, I would have been beating myself up over this miss. I probably would not have hunted the next day because I had been just basically pouting, being a little four-year-old, throwing a temper tantrum. But uh, now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing that it is not always about the kill and punching tags and all that stuff. It's about actually getting out there and putting some work in and just enjoying it. Um, I am blessed to have the health to be able to go out there and do this often and to be able to climb a tree and have property that can hunt there's just too much to be thankful for than there is to be stressed about like one of my sayings is i'm too blessed to be stressed and that can go with a lot of different ways whether it be life or hunting or job or whatever um so yeah enough talking i'm tired i need to go in get these clothes off and uh whew, yeah see y'all tomorrow stay tuned Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, day three of the Illinois gun season and the last day for first season. And it is raining. It is spitting rain, 35 degrees. And it is pretty cold out here. I am going to be hunting out of the ground blind again. Uh, just kind of thought about last night. Went over some trail camp pictures. Looked at the wind and the weather and the forecast. And I think the ground blind is going to be the best bet for this morning. Uh, and plus I'll be out of the rain as well. So that is a win-win for me. So let's get loaded up, hit the road, and uh, let's get out there. So the rain finally stopped. It's clearing up, sun's poking out. I'm thinking about ditching the tent and kind of doing a little recon mission. I might go kind of cross this little creek. This is a creek that follows this tree line. I might cross it, go up that little hill and hit up that timber way back there. There's been a lot of deer back in there. So yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see what goes down, what shakes. Gotta get out of here too because that coffee I had this morning, whew, you know.
I'm a, I can smell a rutting buck. I wonder if I'm downwind from him because I'm getting a pretty good south wind. And that tree line is where I was saying where that trail camera's at. But I'm betting there's a buck bedded down in that timber line right here. So I want to see if I can kind of go around him, go up this side, go up this hill, and do some glassing and see if I can uh, spot some antlers or him bedding down. But yeah, every time you get that good south wind, I can smell it. Okay, so like 20 minutes into this talk, I'm on my hands and knees, just taking my time. And somehow it busted me, took off. Couldn't tell really how big of a buck it was. But he came barreling through timber. But he cut, but he went into this timber and uh, lost him. I could hear him just running and crashing through it. And uh, I assume he went onto the neighbor's property. A little uh, disappointing, but man, that was, that was a riot. That was fun. Every day in the timber is a uh, learning experience chasing after whitetails. Gotta love them, man. Well, as you guys can tell, I am no longer in the deer woods. I am home. It is actually Monday. Just got off work. Uh, kind of kicking back and relaxing. So after I had that encounter with the buck, I kind of just uh, messed around for a little bit and ended up going home around lunch. I was just tired and wore out, man. Um, as much as I wanted to hit it hard uh, for that evening, I decided to kind of give the timber a rest. Uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. We've got like a four day weekend, so let's give it a rest till then. But what a fun weekend. Um, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Uh, biggest down was obviously missing that buck, but it happens to all of us. Um, that's probably, honestly, dude, that is the third buck that I've missed out of that stand. I could have made every excuse in the book to blame the miss on, but can't hide from it, man. That was all me. User error 110%. Just wasn't prepared. Um, I should have found a slug gun to use. Like I said, I used my duck gun with a improved cylinder choke, opened wide up with a rifled slug. I've used that method shotgun hunting in the last 10 years and I've had luck with it, but I think now's the time to say screw it and buy a slug gun for next year. Um, even though we didn't really do the whole deer camp thing just because the COVID sitch, uh, it was still fun. I still had a blast. Uh, my dad and my brother and our good buddy Shed went out and uh, none of us none of us punched a tag. Um, heard quite a bit of shooting around us, but nothing really came close within the uh, shooting range besides the buck that I shot at. So y'all, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for tagging along on another hunting adventure. So you guys know what to do. If you guys like the videos, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and drop a comment down below on what y'all been killing. Until next time, see ya.